So this will be a quick um, re-unboxing, unboxing video of the Ambass, of the Boston Sax Shop Ambassador Alto Saxophone Case. It came in this box, which had this layer of bubble wrap stepped on top of it. It came in this plastic um, wrap. And it was very nice, very nicely packed. So real quick, I'm sorry, I'm a little frustrated with my phone. Um, inside the exterior pouch were these straps. And these straps feel incredibly heavy. And just looking at them, just feeling the uh, carabiner grips, they feel very, very heavy. Uh, like it's the steel itself is very heavy and I really am happy about that because for the price you're paying for uh, a case to protect your instrument that you spend anywhere from a couple hundred if you're lucky to you know tens of thousands for some of us it's impressive and these straps I think attest to the quality of it so this case is kind of a hard material uh, it is synthetic, which is something I I don't care if it is or it isn't. Um, right on here is the Boston Sack Shop stamp metal plate logo, which I think is really, really nice to look at and really nice to feel too. It's, uh, it's like stamped and like painted black or, or anodized black over it, over the logo. Um, one thing I noticed immediately uh, opening this pouch up was that this pouch, exterior pouch for your, your accessories or what on, whatever you may carry, um, it's just stitched directly into the case. And uh, I think for longevity, uh, as a gigging musician, might be a little dangerous. Uh, I would, I would think that. They would put some kind of, uh, let me think, like sealant around here, just so that, you know, right here, the stitching is exposed. And I am nitpicking very much because this is, um, for me, the case I have been wanting and looking for for a very long time. So I'm nitpicky about it. About it. But nonetheless, I am very pleased so far with this, looking at this truly gorgeous, gorgeous um, product. But yeah, just making sure that as a gigging musician, for some of us, this stitching just onto the case might create uh, some water damage and just leakage just over time. Um, you know, right here, it's just this nice and uh, I'm guessing synthetic leather and nylon, probably water repellent nylon, and just, you know, stitch right on top of the case. That's a nitpicky thing, of course, but that's just something to be aware of. Uh, I already, of course, unlashed everything because my recording failed. Opening this up, oh yeah, um, this neck pouch also came inside um, the exterior pouch, which you feel this neck pouch, and however luxurious and soft you think it is, it's a little more more luxurious than what you think it looks like because this is extremely, extremely soft. This is something I'm going to feel terrible at terrible for when dropping on the dirt one day for a gig and I'm going to feel so terrible and I'm going to try and wash it and it'll never feel the same so I'm a little sad that that will one day happen opening this case you are greeted with a lovely lovely I guess royal red is what it looks like it's very regal here is my here is my um I guess order date from when I ordered it. Uh, quality case. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that right there says it. Quality cases. This is very thick. Um, not really, you know, like super easily. It's soft, but it's not. It's firm. It'll protect your case. Um, I noticed that right here. It's extremely tight fitting so i own a summer paris reference 54 alto 
to give you an idea of what kind of horn um, this will accommodate. Uh, it fits really well. I don't have my neck plug in because it's in my other uh, case, which I'll show you as a comparison. And, you know, having this, um, I feel that my case will be very well protected because it's, it doesn't move, a, it doesn't wiggle sideways very much, if at all. And I think that once the case accommodates to my horn, that it'll be a perfect fit, especially with, uh, me trying to figure out how much I can actually cram in here without it damaging the horn. Which leads me to um, my next point. One thing I don't like about this case, which it's a very picky and whiny type of a problem as a saxophone player. We're saxophone players. We like having a lot of crap. Let's be completely honest. Uh, I, I've, I'm in my early 20s and I've already had about nine or 10 mouthpieces traded out from my alto and tenor and a couple soprano and berry mouthpieces. We're awful about this. Um, we're gonna own a lot of things. So one thing I don't like about this case, which I'm gonna have to suck it up because I own it now, is that it does not have a spot for my neck, uh, an exterior, you know, kind of molded part. That's one thing I don't like, but I also do like because it forces me to look at what I'm carrying and of course, before you say anything, uh, we have the exterior pouch. And before I drop my alto I'm and cry, I'm gonna set it back. You know, we have the exterior pouch, but for me, I, I, I think I would just carry reeds in here. I think this would be a reed only, reed and earphone only pouch. Personally, I want to carry a foldable stand that I can put inside the belt. I want to carry a mouthpiece. I want to carry um, um, my neck, of course, and that will just take some time to figure figure out. What I have been using, which comes standard on my on the Alto, is the reference um, Summer Paris reference um, molded flight case, I guess. And here, as if you can hopefully tell, it does have the molded neck uh, slot has a lowered little pouch for your accessories. The way I do it is I use this Protec inside bell, throw my neck strap, throw one of my mouthpieces, throw it in the bell. Then I put my neck right here, sorry, my neck right in here, and I just put my two mouthpieces, two little cartridges of reeds. I have some cork reeds, a pencil, a uh, neck swab. I don't keep this in there, I just wipe it off. And this little kind of convenient little, um, little leather pad to clean my G sharp or other sticky keys for rehearsal and whatnot. And for me, this has worked for a very long time. But the one thing I did not like about it was it only has one strap. And this is, I've tried it incredibly uncomfortable to do a backpack strap style because the straps are on this side of the bell and I had it to where this part of the case was um, pressing very hard into my lower back or my mid back actually and it was incredibly uncomfortable and when I saw this back uh, on the Instagram announcement I was ecstatic I was so happy for and just looking at this I may have a, a little bit of gripes but this is extremely well made. I mean, just trying to push down on it, it doesn't give me much play, if any. And these, um, I don't know what they're called, I just locks are tough. They do require a bit of tension to lock up, but this is 10 minutes out of the uh, package and out of the wrap. So this'll be worn down and broken in within a couple of weeks of just gigging. Uh, I'm, I'm so pleased with it, honestly. Oh, and before I end it, 
I should show you one other thing. Um, for those of you who don't know or aren't familiar with Boston Sack Shop, um, this is pretty much from what it looked like a handmade case because there are some, you know, in inconsistencies here. There are some stitching that isn't completely consistent, um, which is a good thing because that just shows the level of care. So setting it down on the side, you see that on the bottom side of the case, it has three little feet. Just so that way when you set it down on whatever surface you have, uh, it just has a little bit of protection, just keeping it off the ground, which I think is very, it, it should be expected for the price you're paying for this case. And it, you know, it's, it's not cheap and it's not cheap, but for your horn, we're gonna pay the price. Some of us will pay a couple thousand dollars for one mouthpiece. Why not spend a couple hundred for a quality case that's gonna last probably more than our lifetime. On this bottom side, it has two rubber feet actually. I didn't notice this earlier. And standing it up on the back side, which is probably how I'll be setting it down most often. We have four feet as well. And on each side here, the bottom, this side and the bottom over here, we have um, some D-rings, which look very, uh, oh, these are very, very tough um, just to look at. And, oh yeah, those things aren't going these will, not, these will not be breaking for a very long time. And that's how you will be using your case uh, backpack compatible. And I think for this price, you really won't be getting a better case, uh, especially for the quality that it has. Just these heavy duty straps with this very thick nylon end. So this strap isn't very heavily padded and I don't mind it. And the thing I like about this a lot is that this, uh, I don't know, rubber, I guess, kind of grippy material. It isn't super grippy, but it's like on this, my reference case, this is extremely, extremely grippy. And it's really annoying, especially in a For me, I live in Texas, so it's a hot, it'll be a hot, hot day. And that actually will will end up hurting like my shoulders just from how much it digs in. And I can tell you already that this will not. And you know, just for these three, I guess, separate items you can consider it as, I, I couldn't imagine it being a better deal. So far, I, I haven't worn, I, I'm just opening this case. I haven't uh, gigged on it. I haven't taken it in and out of anything yet. So this is very much an initial response an initial view i'm very pleased with how this looks and i cannot wait to start using it for school and start using it for gigs anyways thank you very much for uh for viewing i hope you guys liked it thank you